Hi, this is Rude again. Uh, you may remember me. I made a bunch of videos late last year, earlier this year, on the fantastic road loft in our town and country van. Um, we will need this vehicle to haul some big stuff around, and I don't want to stack anything on top of the road loft because it might just ruin it and definitely not make things better, and that would be a shame. So. We're going to remove it and we're going to store it in the garage, but that's for later. I will show you a little um, video on how to remove this and start from the front to the back. Uh, this is the smallest piece. There is a big piece in the back and then I'll also show how to store this a little more efficiently uh, instead of stacking all these boxes on top of each other because that will take too much space. So. Bear with me. Right, well we're ready. Uh, so what I'm gonna start with are the mattresses and the pillows and then we'll just we'll make our way uh, from the front to the back. So first the big mattress, then the small mattress, then the pillows, then the front box, then the back, back box. So there we go. are off, mattresses are off, sleeping bag is off. So now I'm going to start in the front and take off the front box and disconnect it from the little library box. box. Sticky mat. Library box. link is in my video, a must have. Please, 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 please get one. Table, and our sticky mat. I 
know there's still a lot of stuff in here, like this one, for example. It still has the stuff. Don't pick that up. This is the tote that we put on the left side. So this one has all our pots and pans and cutlery and stuff. Today we take it out because this is the lid that goes with it. And here we go. It's closed. that's on the right side. Same story. This one has food, it had the coffee, some of the spices, tea, candles, salt, pepper, uh, kitchen tissue. Same thing, there's a lid. Planning on leaving this George Toto's fridge in the van just in case we'll need it. So I'll put it on the side here. There's the box that goes with it. And here we are, the center box. So what I'll do is first take out the beach chairs, they are still in there, and then also. Uh, there's some other knickknacks in there and the solar panel for the Jeffrey. So bear with me. will be cleaned up because they're a little sandy. And a solar panel for that jackery. Before Take you with me. Oops. Before I start taking out the center box, I'll turn around. These levelers here need to be loosened. So there is two on this side, and there's two on this side. Plus, there are legs down here and over here. Here, me. this one. And they hold it up, so they level this box. So I need to take those off too. So what I'll do is continue the video and just show you how that's done. All right, I'll put you back on the a uh, step ladder. So here we go. Make sure that we're still good to go. Nope. Here we go. This is so much better. Also this fridge cord, I'll take it out and clean it up. It has been just sitting here, moving around the bus. And then I'll just 
squared from here, from this side. Actually, I'll start from this side. That'll be a little easier. And then loosen these. You can still follow me. As you may understand, this van accumulated quite a bit of uh, gunk. Live through two people camping in it or well, I think better part of a year. But this is a really easy vehicle to clean. So I'm quite impressed. So now we're on this side. Take this whole thing out. I'll take our knickknacks out. And the beach mat. And we can just simply lift this up. And here it is. So, just as a resume, I'll turn around. These are the back drawers. So this one actually is on the right, supposed to be on the right. This one is supposed to be on the left. This is the front box, the table, the library box, and the central box here with the legs still out. So I will show a convenient way to stack these in here because they fit. And then also how to park this one inside this drawer. And it should just make a nice flat package. Bear with me. All right. Well, um, went through the process of cleaning up this central box and then also organizing a bit more of these two drawers. So what I'll do is set it up here. So let's see how it's going to be stacked. 
and then I'll get back with you on how this is actually stacked on my shelf. So there you go. Central box goes right here. This is about 50 inches wide and about, I think, 26 deep. So if you're looking for a storage spot for your road loft, you want to put it away for a little extended period of time. Uh, just keep in mind you need at least, let's say, 12, 50 by 30 um, inches of storage space in order to make that work. Uh, otherwise, um, storing this upright will probably not be the best way because uh, it might just warp everything. Um, but let me put the drawers inside and let's do it this way a little bit. Uh, so there we go. So this is the right drawer. This one holds the, well, I'll call it the slow stove. Uh, the one that has, I think, 12,000 BTUs. Uh, so, um, no, I think it's 6,000 BTUs. So, not very fast, but it's good for coffee. So, this fits right in here. Uh, smashing my fingers. So, just to show you how this works. And this is also how they do, how they designed it this way because it's going to be absolutely flush. So very clever design, and uh, it's also one thing that I really liked uh, because I knew that we'll be storing this this road loft for a little while and maybe a couple months until we're going back out on the road. Uh, we're in California, thankfully, so that means we can do this road tripping pretty much all year lucky us um but yeah um just need to move some stuff around and we need to need the cargo space so i'm going to go ahead and put the left box in and then cover it up with a blanket Here. So this is combination rear drawers, central box, and then I'll cover this up with a blanket and then put this front box with the drawers on top of that. And then the mattresses, not the bedding, I'll wash that, uh, but everything will be packed up and will be. You know, I'll put that all in, in, in trash bags so it will stay clean. And then I'll show you the result. All right, there we go. Sometimes when you have like fitted sheets and they're like damaged, it's just handy 
to not throw them around or not throw them away or trash them or rip them. And here there's a hole in here, is one. But if you fold it in half, and you still have a nice well, half fitted sheet, and it will fit on top. So that means this will just keep the dust out like that. So that means this stays all like very dry and clean. And then when you need it again, you can just simply unpack and put it in a van without having to well, go through the whole process of getting it ready. Because it's basically ready now. It's, it's good to go. So next step, I'll turn a little bit, is this front box and there's a table top, there is the library box in there and then there's also a bunch of material here. Um, so these are the covers that go on top of the drawers. And this one goes in the center, so this one covers the fridge. So, oops, Ooh. this one, okay, my gimbal is not cooperating. These two, and this one will be just one assembly. And the nice thing is, and I love Red Loft for that part too, this is all extremely lightweight, so I'm not a bodybuilder, but I can lift all this stuff simply with one hand and my hands are not that huge either but I can just simply put it away so I've been looking at reviews of other solutions and I looked at the weight of everything and it's definitely quite a bit more so definitely keep that in mind if you're thinking of you know getting on the road doing this minivan setup, which I really like because it's so versatile. Uh, it's not like a full-blown van that you, well, re, re, basically just recreate and also give, you know, a whole new definition. This one can just be a minivan whenever you want it. So that means this is made to uh, carry people and stuff and you can just do that again. So. I'm going to put this down and then get back with you when I put that box on top of that box over there. So, see you in a bit. So, I just want to get back and show you what I've done. So, we're a couple minutes later, just want to tidy up a couple bits and pieces and go get clever. Um, so, here is where the center, well actually the library box it, uh, sits and we have a little like emergency <laughs> emergency container here just in case we have yeah some emergencies on the road over here I forgot to mention there's a post for the table that I showed in previous videos and then the, the uh, sticky mats are in here so this all makes a very nice square package so it's about half the width or depth of the center box and the um, length or well width so to speak because this is uh, like the width of the van so this is it's still like 50 inches um, so yeah keep that in mind just in case you're looking for storage and then the height I'd say because I still have this boxed for the fridge and yeah this well lucky me this would be applying to my situation here uh, because these covers for the back box and you know the cover for the fridge they fit right in here if I keep all the material 
uh, the packing material here for the fridge as well. Uh, I just want to keep using the fridge. I want to kind of stick that in here. Um, no matter what, you know, we will be on the road. But it would be nice to uh, yeah to bring a bunch of cool drinks at times. Uh, that's just very handy. And then these blue bags, uh, they hold, well, this one holds the firewood and some uh, kindling and stuff. There's another one inside. Where are we? Uh, that is in here. On top of the, the manuals on top. So this one has charcoal. So I usually bring both uh, when we go camping. Uh, so I'll stack them on top of that box so that will make a nice nice square ensemble and uh yeah i'll just keep keep stacking from there so um i'll be, get back with you in a bit <laughs> 